it is finally time for our videos to get better quality. Today's episode is sponsored by Adventure Cam Perfect Strike Tackle What's going on YouTube? Jason the Arizona Desert Fisherman here with you for a very exciting episode for me personally. I have been waiting for this for a long time. You guys have heard me talk about it in a few episodes. Uh, last year I was sponsored by Polaroid. They sent me the Cube camera. Now it started off decent. Uh, you know the quality was okay for the first few weeks there uh, that I was using it. You know and it was really uh, convenient, really small you know only one button to turn it on and start recording blah 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 however after a while it started to get pretty crappy uh, and I kinda looked into it and realized that uh, Polaroid was outsourcing to different Chinese manufacturers which did really really cheap work uh, the guy that originally sponsored me through Polaroid no longer works there so I couldn't have anything done about it I couldn't get the camera fixed I couldn't get a replacement I couldn't nothing uh, so I reached out and I finally upgraded to an adventure cam uh, by the way I am a pro staff over there so click the link down below in the description box and use my promo code if you're gonna buy one which I strongly suggest you do my promo code is ADF uh, so, here is the Adventure Cam. Uh, it's just like a GoPro. Looks just like a GoPro. It's got the power button up front, and this is also the mode button to switch through the various uh, modes. You have your recording, you have regular pictures, you have a blast photo uh, selection where it takes 10 photos in 3 seconds, and then you also have a time lapse mode on here which is really cool I tested that out last night and it ran for about two and a half hours and it took a picture every two seconds I had it on last night pointing at the street in front of my house so that was kind of cool uh, you got the shutter button right here this is also a selection button over here you have the SD card a charging port uh, and an HDMI port and then over on the side here are the up and down selection buttons now this has a Wi-Fi capability. I'm not too familiar with how that exactly works. Uh, they sent some instructions along, but it really didn't go into huge detail about it. And then underneath there is a little compartment for the battery if you have to take that out and replace it. Now, the very first thing that I noticed with this camera is it has a very wide angle lens and I'll show you guys that here in a minute I'm gonna switch over to this camera to finish up the video um, but you know it's got a speaker on it for when you're playing back your videos on the actual camera and then the microphone is on that side right above the ports now they also sent along this camouflage waterproof case which is really cool you just lift the top and then the door slides down it's got a waterproof seal around it that is airtight but here is the issue with this that I have which I am gonna fix when the camera is in this case the audio is taken down a lot as far as quality so that means that I have to spend a little bit more money and get a microphone and a recorder and do it the right way which um, I haven't been doing just because as some of you guys might know I am very conservative with my money so we're gonna switch over to this camera now and we'll finish the video alright so you are now on the adventure cam video hopefully you can tell the quality is a little bit better uh, but anyway this case is really nice uh, it's all camouflage so that's cool that's what I picked out uh, and then it comes with your standard uh, mount right here and uh, this mount basically can clip into uh, other mounts so that's how that works uh, now I'll go through you guys know that GoPro is obviously the biggest um, lifestyle camera brand that there is for good reason they're perfect quality 
this is a huge competitor right here, the Adventure Cam. Now, with each GoPro accessory that you have to buy, they are extremely, extremely expensive. And I'm talking everything. You know, every single mount that you need, you have to buy separately. Now, when you get the Adventure Cam, you get 30 different accessories. Not all of them are mounts, but you get 30 different accessories for no added cost. And on top of that, the Adventure Cam is under $100. And it's good quality. It's not cheap like the Polaroid Cube. The Polaroid Cube was originally $99, but it's junk. Uh, so I'll go through here and start off with the accessories. There are a couple of them that I don't know what they're for. I'm going to be clarifying that here tomorrow. I'm going to be calling the guy that I talked to over at Adventure Cam. Uh, but first off, we have an extra back door. Uh, you know, these back doors can get scratched or damaged or break off, whatever. Uh, lens cleaning cloth, which is very important. Uh, if you guys saw back in one of my ice fishing episodes... Uh, I had the camera, the cube, down on the ice when I pulled the fish out, and I didn't realize that the fish splashed the camera. And so for the rest of the video, there was a big smudge at the bottom of the lens there. Uh, so this will definitely come in handy. Uh, right here is one of the things that I'm not too clear on. They called these safety tethers. Basically, it's four zip ties and a steel cable with loops on it. Uh, not really sure what to do with those, but I'm going to find that out. Uh, right here is a mount that has a curved bottom and that clip just slides right in there and then there's 3M adhesive tape on the bottom there so you can tape it on. And then there's another one that's the exact same except the bottom is flat. Uh, so these, I will probably get a few more of these flat mount ones and mount these on my tripods because the camera itself is too wide to fit in the tray that's on my tripod normally, so I will have to turn it uh, 90 degrees and then I'll mount it on this and just uh, spin the tripod around itself. A uh, couple more mounts here. These ones do various things and I'm going to be figuring out exactly what they are meant to do. Here's another one. Here is a high-rise mount. You can see it's got that clip in there as well. Uh, so this can clip into pretty much anything. And then it's got another three-quarters to an inch of a high-rise on there. Uh, the next one that I am actually going to be trying on my next fishing adventure, this is a belt clip. Uh, basically, it's got a clip right here. You can slide it into your belt or your pocket. And then the camera just slides right into there. We have a an actual tripod mount. It just screws on to your tripod if you have that option. Uh, you know, the, the original tripod that I was using, that was my mother's head, a screw that came out of the top of the tray about a quarter of an inch. So that would work on there. And then here is another one that is for a tripod. Here is a handlebar mount if you are going to use this on a bike. Um, I'm not sure if this will uh, clamp tight enough to go around one of my fishing rods, but they do have a fishing rod mount. Uh, and then they sent along a couple pieces of Velcro and a couple of straps. Uh, and once again, I'm going to be finding out exactly what the purpose of these is for. Now, you can probably notice right off the bat that these mounts are all exactly like GoPro mounts. They are cheaper than GoPro mounts. However, if you find something that you need and they don't sell it, but GoPro does, you can buy it from GoPro and it'll match up exactly to this. So that's a really, really cool advantage um, that you can swap out different products with it and it will all work at the same time. Uh, now, the memory is awesome. Obviously, you have to use a very good memory card. Don't go and buy an off-brand memory card. Make sure it's a sans disk or a popular brand. I am going to be getting a 32 uh, size memory card and you have to use a class 10 for it to uh, 
uh, be sufficient. Now, the video space that the camera can record obviously depends on the memory card and the minutes that it will record and stuff like that. So that's why I'm going to go with the 32 because with the 32 bit, I believe I can record three and a half hours nonstop. Uh, with the Polaroid Cube, no matter what size memory card, I could only record an hour and a half tops. Uh, so that's definitely something that's great. Uh, they they sell all kinds of other accessories. They sell packs. So if you want to go out and get a pro accessory pack, which basically comes with everything that they sell, if you want to get a hunting and fishing accessory pack, uh, things that are specifically for hunting and fishing, you know, they have gun mounts, they have bow mounts, they have the fishing rod mounts and stuff like that. They have dog harnesses, uh, the chest mounts. I'm going to be getting a chest mount and a selfie stick next. Uh, you know, pretty much they have everything that you could need, and if they don't have it, you can get it from GoPro, and it will work. Uh, so, that this is really cool. Again, guys, like I said, go down below, use my code ADF to get uh, a discount on this. Definitely go check them out. Uh, they sent along to this really cool uh, bag here. I'm not sure yet if I am going to keep the camera in it or just keep the accessories in it for now. Uh, I might get a bigger hard case to put some foam in to keep the camera and all of the accessories in that. I'm not sure yet. They also sent along a sticker which will go on my tackle boxes and they sent along a card and this is really cool. If you get one of their cameras and it doesn't matter if it's the Adventure Cam 8 which I have or if you get the 10 or the 4 they have all different kinds of models just depends on what you want to do with it. Uh, again I have the Adventure Cam 8 but if you do a video with the Adventure Cam and you post it online, if you use a specific hashtag, which I will put in the description box, they do a giveaway once a week and they go and they look on all social media and find those hashtags and they will pick one video every single week with that hashtag who wins. It could either be accessories, it can be a whole brand new camera, uh, I believe they do cash prizes as well. I mean, it's it's really cool that they do that every single week. You know, and here on the ADF channel, we'll be uploading a video once a week. So hopefully we have a good chance there to uh, win one of the contests. But I am definitely impressed so far. I hope you guys can notice the difference in quality because I can, like I said, I ran it on a test all day yesterday. I had it fully charged and I ran the battery down 100% recording and taking pictures. And the quality is just so much better than the Polaroid Cube. So, thankfully, from now on, we will have better quality videos, which is awesome. I know you guys hate some of the older videos because the quality is so poor. Uh, again, I'm going to be getting a microphone, so as far as the audio when I'm out fishing, just bear with me for a few more weeks. I'm going to be getting that microphone, I promise you guys. Uh, so please go check out Adventure Cam, guys, before you go and buy a GoPro. Adventure Cam is a cheaper route, and it is just about the same quality as GoPro. We're going to be finding out if it's uh, shockproof enough. I'm going to be putting it in a demo car this year, like... Uh, I tried to do with the cube last year, but that didn't really work out too well. Uh, so that's going to be a huge test for this camera. Hopefully uh, it will last through it, and I'm going to talk to the CEO uh, and try and get him down here to actually uh, attend the demolition derby that this is going to be in so he can see the results and stuff like that. Definitely, guys. Click the subscribe button down below and please go through the description box and go over to Adventure Cam's website. Check these out. Check out their accessories and products. Um, you know, if if you want the, the best that they have, go for the Adventure Cam 10. It was just released not too long ago. Uh, thank you very much for watching and we will see you guys next time.